Hey, welcome to Saturday's WAD. I'm joined today by my friend Newton and my other friend Grace to help demonstrate. Um, today's workout has an individual option as well as a partner option if you have somebody at home to work out with, um, invite them into this. This is an 18 minute AMRAP either way. Our AMRAP starts with 20 hollow rocks, then you're gonna have 20 arch rocks, so you'll flip over for that. We'll demonstrate these in just a second. You'll do a set of max strict handstand push-ups. That means that you'll get one attempt to do as many strict handstand push-ups as you can before either coming off your wall or your, your box. Immediately into a 20 second hollow hold, 20 second arch hold, and then a 20 second handstand Hold. So these are going to be similar positions um, with some dynamic pieces to them, whereas we're going to do uh, more static positions here. Okay, so I'll um, start out with having Grace run through these and, and demonstrate. So our 20 hollow rocks. You're going to get on the floor in a hollow position mm -hmm. with a helper here. Uh, Grace is trying. <laughs> trying to keep her low back pressed to the floor so she should make herself like a banana. If you need help doing that, scaling options can be start at a tuck position. If you can do that and, uh, it's, and it's easy, then go ahead and straighten one leg and that could be an in-between scaling option. These are rocks to start out with, so she's going to maintain this position, whatever position she can hold with her lower back staying on the ground, um, and rock back and forth. When she gets to the holds, she's, she's not rocking, she's going to hold this position. And bonus points if you can do it with a dog on your arm. Uh, 20 arch rocks would be next, so she's going to flip over to her belly, and now we're trying to pull the feet and the arms up off of the ground as much as we can. So to make this even tougher, she's gonna try and keep her legs as close together as possible and hands as close together as possible, and then keep that position as she shifts her weight back and forth. So that would be for the rock, and then she would maintain that position and not rock, just hold it for the arch holds. Pick up on, then, uh, and you have unassisted strict handstand push ups, that's an option. If not, we can do these on the box, on a couch, on a chair, on a table, just make sure you have something back here if you're using a piece of furniture so that uh, it doesn't get away from you. This can, be done, this can be done in a pike position for the handstand push ups. tripod position at the bottom so Grace is touching the top of her head out in front of her fingertips. When it comes to the hold portion for the handstand hold, she can do the hold position in the same in the same way. So you could do a uh, either on your knees or if you can do a pike for the hold right here or again you can do on the wall um, for your handstand that's going to be 20 seconds there. If you're doing this with a partner, you and your partner are going to alternate movements. So partner A is doing their 20 hollow rocks while they're working. Partner B is holding that hollow position. So you're doing the same positions. One person is moving and the other person is holding in place. Um, then partner A is going to be holding while partner B moves. So if you were just doing a hollow hold, now you're gonna to go to the arch rocks. If you were just doing hollow rocks, now you're gonna do two arch holds. So 20 arch rocks, while your partner is rocking, you are holding that arch position, and then you'll again switch movements um, to the max handstand push-ups 
while your partner is holding the handstand. So be sure that you switch um, alternate movements each time. So if you are doing the 20 hollow rocks, then that your next movement is gonna be holding an arch, and then your next movement would be strict handstand push-ups. Partner B is going to hold the hollow, then they will rock, and then they will hold the handstand. So that each time you go through this, you're doing a different set of movements. Um, your score at the end of this will be the number of rounds that you get that you get into, uh, whether it's by yourself or with a partner. So post that in the comments section. Um, and if you if you have time to take a video, take a video and tag us in it so that we can share it and show everybody what you're doing. Enjoy your Saturday workout.